Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Kimberley Campus KKHQ. Um, what I'd like to do today is I'll take you through a new Kimberley Cruiser. Um, here we've got our flagship T3 Cruiser. Uh, just come off the line with a lot of brand new innovation that we can't wait to share with you uh, for our 2021 models. Um, so starting at the front here, I'll give you a bit of an update as we've done before. Take you through from uh, under the unit all the way around the side, um, uh, up into the unit itself and, and give you some hints and tips and, um, and advice on what we've got and, and what we do with it. So we're running a hot tip galvanized chassis that's all laser cut interlocking. That reduces the weight, increases the strength. We run a hybrid chassis on these particular units which has um, two, um, two steel runners um, or stringers each side. And then we've got a hybrid chassis with the um, aluminium uh, framework that, that bonds that together. Um, that's all um, insulated with polyurethane and bolted together, which holds the whole frame on board. Um, the construction from Kimberley is we run a, um, at the front section, we run a nose cone and a tail cone, and then we build a body in between, which um, uh, we've now just moved to a closed cell composite uh, sandwich. So we have two walls and the roof. Um, with, our, um, with our chassis, um, underneath that we run a independent trailing arm suspension. Uh, we're running a uh, Kimberley airbag, so Kimberley designed airbag um, on a 60mm um, uh, hub and stub axle um, with vented disc brakes. The disc brakes we run is electronic over hydraulic, um, so we don't run any drum brakes in, in anything in any of our models. Um, and that runs off a, um, an actuator up the front here, so a Carlisle actuator. That gives us our handbrake up the front here off a button, and then it also works off your vehicle through a, a brake controller. Hitches, um, full off-road hitch um, as we go through the unit, it's a come standard with a Treg hitch. This particular unit's got the McHitch, which we're finding exceptionally popular um, due to its nickname being a, um, a marriage saver. So um, blokes are able to back it up, get it hooked on without the, the need to be absolutely precise. Super, super simple and um, with the yoke that comes in from the front, nice and easy to get hooked up. The Arc Jewel uh, jockey wheel holds all the front section together and, um, and on this particular unit we're running a, um, a 3.45 tonne um, ATM and, um, and the drawbar weight on this is only about 165 kilos. Up in the Unipod as we dive into here as well as being a, a little bit of storage for some nice light gear, um, this also houses the heartbeat of the actual uh, vans themselves. Um, so we've got a 240 volt inlet which runs a 60 amp 240 volt charger, AC charger. Um, we've then got a DC booster which charges from your Anderson plug as you're driving along. Um, so that's up to 40 amp DC booster with a, um, it's BC DC, so there's a solar regulator. So if you've got this camped out in the sun, uh, sorry, in the shade, then you can put a solar panel out in the sun. Um, uh, we've got the isolator in here, 240 volt inlet, has a surge protector on it. Um, so that just protects all the gear inside. With the T3, we've got a 2600 watt inverter, pure sine wave inverter, which will run up to your aircon. It'll run your, inver uh, your uh, dual hob induction cooker. It'll run the microwave as well. So as, as well as any, any other appliances, coffee machine or small toaster or small um, kettle. Um, dual uh, USB plugs, uh, so sockets on the inside here, if you had to charge any um, phones or uh, drones or anything that you're taking with you on your trip. Um, we've also got the um, remote mounted compressor. Um, so with the airbags here, we've done away with a whole lot of valving and, um, and joins and piping into the actual unit itself. This is ele all electronic to um, some, uh, a box down in, on the underside of the van. Um, which houses so like a, you're up and down. So just a quick push of the button here electronically actuates those solenoids. Um, remote mounted compressor, fans in there that suck air in and out, that keep the whole area clean, uh, nice and cool. And then we've got the built-in LED lights which gives you light inside the van at night. As we get around the corner, we run to so like a nine kilo gas bottle on our units here. The, key, uh, the nine kilo gas bottle only runs your outside cooking. Your outside cooking, you'll see on this particular unit, I've got a Weber Baby Q. We do a two burner cooker and griller, or we do a uh, sovereign barbecue. So the choice is the customers and, and you're able to like tailor make um, the outside cooking depending on what you're trying to do yourselves and how you like camping. 
On the S and the T class, we go to the tunnel boot. Now, for those of you familiar with the uh, Kimberley tunnel boots, you'll notice that this one is totally empty all the way through. So we've given you tons of space inside here, um, and it allows you to like store anything long, any bits and pieces, all of your awnings, all of your canvas, uh, personal effects, etc., fishing rods, rifles, whatever you like inside there. LED light either side, and um, and it's all carpeted and, and insulated. As we go through past the door, um, we've got your outside kitchen. On your outside kitchen, that pops open really quickly. Um, just that there. Um, uh, slide out your cooker for your barbecue there. And then we've also got the large galley kitchen as well. So on that large galley kitchen, that'll come through. Opens up here, stainless steel sink, hot and cold water out of your um, taps here. Got a cutlery drawer there. We've got a sauces and condiments and um, barbecue tongs, etc., down the sides there. Um, uh, we've got the sauces, condiments up the top, and then just some extra pantry storage up and around the, the back of the, um, the sink as it is. This here, so like as I say, you can use either the Weber, uh, we do the two burner cooker and griller, or the Sovereign barbecue. Um, that's just your outside cooking, all under protection. That slides in, locked away, um, super, super quick. Up through here, put that down, and that all locks away nice and neatly there. All fully sealed with automotive rubber seals, and, um, and that there, no, no dust, no water at all. Um, the dual axle suspension, uh, we run uh, either five stud or six stud, depending on what a customer wants. That's run off your independent trailing arm suspension. With our uh, Kimberley airbags, we're running so like um, your vented discs and hubs off the side of that, and um, and a uh, Profenda Racing two and a half inch monotube shock absorber. So that gives you so like a full off-road capability. And these units do go up, uh, you know, up the Gibber Road, across the Tanami, uh, the Plenty, etc. Um, and they are built for the off-road. Obviously, you're not doing so like the the Telegraph track and um, gunshot but definitely it's like where your vehicle will safely go. Um, these do, bearing in mind the extra uh, width and extra height. So the T3 as it is here runs about seven and a half meters in length, um, about 2.3 meters in width, and about three, just over three meters in height. Um, your air conditioners, your, uh, sorry, your air conditioner and your satellite systems are the highest units in these, uh, in our RVs. In our awning on the outside here, we're running a Fiamma awning. Uh, so either Fiamma or Dometic. This one's an electric awning, opening awning, um, but we've given it the old Kimberley flavor. So off the front here, we've got our quintessential uh, signature Bedouin extension flaps. That creates a little bit more uh, privacy for the inside of the van itself, but it also creates uh, like the use of no guy ropes um, uh, hanging off the unit itself. Um, you're able to put bits and pieces on, on either side. Um, the design team at Kimberley has also come up with a, a full wall kit um, that, that fully encloses this outside area on any of our E, S and T. Um, we do a front wall, a rear wall and a side wall. That's made all out of our Billabong Dynaproof silver Hyroflat canvas um, with midge mesh on the inside and uh, on, on all of your windows and doors. Um, with a draft skirt that goes up underneath the suspension there, um, you're able to create a really, really nice little nook inside here um, that you can create as outdoor living or, or extra bed space or whatever the case may be. Um, so we'll take you around the rear. Um, we've got the rear stabilizers here um, in conjunction with your jockey wheel at the front there. Creates a nice stable platform to enjoy a night's sleep. LED lights and all of your tail lights. And then on the driver's side here, we've got your water access points. So on your water access points, we've got, um, that opens down here. You've got your hot and your cold shower. So if you've had a, um, a swim out on the beach, you're able to come back to the van, rinse yourself off without having to get into the van with um, all sand all over you. Um, but it is also so like multi-purpose because what we're able to do is plug in your mains pressure. Um, uh, or Vizzy Flow. So you can suck up out of a creek billabong well, jerry can or a bucket. You can have a hot shower inside the van straight out of that jerry can or bucket. Um, uh, filling your tanks, you simply put your hose onto the inlet at the top here, and then you push that valve across there. It says general there, open that up. That'll fill your general tank. Close that off, move that over, open it up, and that fills your drinking water tank. So um, one of the new innovations for 2021 and, um, and has proved super easy and super 
simple for people to use. The water tanks on board, um, uh, the T3, we've got a 200 litre multi-purpose tank. We've got a 120 litre dedicated drinking water tank. So 320 litres between the two. Um, we've got a rear tank, which is an optional auxiliary water tank of about 50 litres, or it's a 60 litre um, grey water tank for your shower. And then we've got another 60 litre grey water tank, which um, uh, takes your water from your sinks. Um, uh, so it is literally a, a leave no trace van. Um, they do have their outlets off the side, um, so if you're out on the bush, um, you're able to sort of like go into a sunny dump and drop whatever grey water you needed to. Driver's side going box, um, up tucked up inside there we've got the valving uh, for the airbags. So that inside there allows you to lock off your four uh, airbags, but also if you've had any um, failure in power or your compressor or anything with your onboard stuff, um, we've got four Schroeder valves in there, you're able to individually pump up each, um, each airbag. Finally up the front here we've got room for two jerry cans, um, two 20 litre jerry cans, that's either diesel or extra water, um, and then your diesel for your diesel hot water system and your diesel heater. Uh, so that runs off here and that there pretty much give you enough to last maybe a month, month, a month and a half without the need to fill up. What we'll do is we'll step back here and take a look at some of the key features on the van. On the driver's side here, over the kitchen area, we've got the, um, the, the quick awning. Um, on this particular quick awning here, it provides a little bit of shade um, over that driver's side area. So you're able to keep that open if it's pouring with rain in, in a steamy summer up in Queensland. Uh, no problem at all, your windows can stay open. You've got the cover over there or alternatively, so like if you've got any sun facing on it. As we look up over the roof of the unit itself, we've got the, um, the German um, IntelliSat satellite. Uh, one of the big benefits of that as well has been an 80 centimetre satellite and getting reception around the whole of Australia. Um, we run brass cogs in that. Um, the brass cogs basically last a lot longer than plastic. So in your off-road conditions and, um, and in the outback travel, you don't get any, um, any of that wearing out of its way. Um, I've then got a jack antenna for your terrestrial TV. I've got a shark fin antenna for your modem and your reception. I've got an AM FM antenna for your, um, for your radio. So pretty much we've got all bases covered for you. So what I'd like to do now is I'll take you inside and we'll give you some uh, hints and tips on some of the key features. Well, welcome into the new Kimberley T3 Cruiser. Uh, the T3 is, is, as I said outside, um, is definitely sort of like our flagship product. Um, we put a lot of time and energy into this being the epitome of off-road travel and off-grid travel as well. So um, some of the key features that I'd like to highlight that we've managed to change in the 2021 model is um, we've got much, much better insulation um, up in the roof and in the sides, plus in the base as well. Um, so in the sides, we've got a, a closed cell um, uh, sandwich foam um, with uh, fiber or composite on either side of it. Um, that there is um, over the top. The R values on those are phenomenal. We run just over a 30 mil uh, foam core and, um, and the test that we've had, we've had so like the foam core heated up to 180 degrees on one side with less than a one degree differential between that and, and a place that's not being heated up. So we think so like that the insulation on these is gonna be better than it's ever been. Um, uh, what that's done is that's eliminated the need for a tropical roof, which is in turn reduced the overall weight of the unit as well. So the, um, the tropical roof, because we've eliminated that, um, there's less gear that has to go up on the roof, which means, we've also, which means we've also made it lighter, but I can fit more solar on it. So the, solar, uh, the Merlin solar panels that we get in from the USA, um, we can fit up to 800 watts on this particular unit with the, um, with the air con in situ. And, um, and a little bit earlier on, we were getting about 27, 28 amps, um, uh, and the batteries were, were up at about 85 amps. So, so like um, the performance is absolutely phenomenal, and we think that's just gonna get better and better with time. Without the aircon, we can fit another, um, another couple of panels up here, which takes us to just over that kilowatt. So what I'll do is I'll start um, in, inside the van here and, and make our way around. 
Um, so we'll start on the passenger side as we go through. We've got the Long Chase Lounge. Um, in the area, those of you that are familiar with the T-Class, uh, we used to have the entrance and the hallway at the, at the rear here um, with the seating in there and then the bed up the front. We've now moved the door to the front, which is in line with the T and the, uh, the S and the E class. Um, and what that's done is that's given ourselves something that we call a customer customization center. And the customer customization area in that corner there is so like now that we've freed up that space, um, there's a few options we've given to you. So these particular customers have opted for the extended bench with two drawers underneath it. Um, we can take this layer of drawers and put that over there, keeping the nice large open windows. Um, we can put a 190 litre fridge freezer there, or we could make some upright cupboards. So really, so like we give you the option, and depending on what customers are, are wanting to try and achieve, we're able to so like accommodate most of those options there. Um, you'll notice also so like our big windows, um, which, which is a theme so like that we've changed and we're really, really proud of in, in the new units. Um, and one of the key Kimberley design features, uh, as you'll probably hear us say time and again, is the, the minimalistic, very, very much open plan, open entertainment, open, uh, you know, and a clutter-free environment. That way we're able to let more of the environment in, bring the outside in, but also so like get some amazing air flows going without any pokey windows all the way around. Um, one, of the, um, one of the other areas that we're really, really proud of is that um, the only wood in our construction um, is our uh, cupboard fronts and our drawer fronts and potentially so like a, a cutting board. Um, otherwise, everything else is aluminium steel composite or, um, uh, or a foam. So um, we, we don't have any wood in the construction of what we do at all. All of our overhead cupboards are in aluminium uh, with drawers on them, so very, very sturdy, very stable. Um, and across there, we've got four across the top there, which create a whole lot of room. Um, as we go in, what I'll do is I'll take you through into the, um, into the ensuite uh, before we come out and finish off the rest of the kitchen. So inside the ensuite here, we've um, Kimberley's opted for the um, the composting toilet. We use a nature's head. Um, that's a waterless toilet, and um, and you're able to use that for up to 80 uses without the need of going into um, any sandy dumps or emptying anything at all. Um, we encourage you to do some research online because there's some absolutely awesome reviews as to how they work. Um, it ties in really, really well with Kimberley's philosophy of getting you out there for longer with less hassle and being environmentally friendly. And, um, and, it, and it is one of the key features that we've got right across the, our whole range. Um, however, if customers do want to go to a chemical toilet, uh, we're still able to fit, fit that into the cruisers. Uh, down on the right hand side here, I've got a lot of space for, um, for linen. We've got a heater off your diesel hot water system. So the heater basically so like will create a nice warm um, ensuite if you're camped out in the winter. We've got two, three storage drawers either side of the ensuite here, so, so like for vanity items or kitchen items, etc. Um, a large vanity sink here with a large, um, large uh, full-size mirror. Um, uh, overhead cupboards um, for storage of even more bits and pieces up in there. So once again, so like you know, in the tight spaces that we're working on, the design um, has incorporated a bucket load of storage for you. In this particular unit, I've also got a top-loading washing machine. So your top loading washing machine. The top loading washing machine is a 2.6 kilo washing machine. Um, that there is uh, very lightweight compared to a front loading washing machine. And essentially it's like it's to wash your smalls and a few bits and pieces while you're out on the road. Um, the weight saving over and above the um, top load is about 20 odd kilos. So we believe it's a fair amount although in the T3 you can opt for the uh, front loader if you wanted. That locks in, full off-road travel, nice and locked in there. Vanity working, uh, working bench here, um, vanity sink. Uh, the cold water comes out of your dedicated drinking water tank, which is all through a filter. So you're able to sort of like brush your teeth and know that you're all safe with the water that comes out of there. And it's off your diesel hot water system. Down the end here, we've got a full-size shower um, and in your ensuite shower, um, there's enough space to move in here. Uh, we've got your diesel powered hot water system coming through here, two vents up in the roof, which will suck or blow air. 
depending on what we were trying to achieve. And then there's a glass door that comes right across and closes that in. So we're inside there. One of the other things that Kimberley's introduced is the little bench seat here. So you're able to get down, wash your feet without being in a cramped shower. And, um, and you know, so like it, it is very, very user friendly. So um, the final thing on the ensuite is we do have a full size door that covers this whole area in. So for a bit, bit of privacy, if you're entertaining guests inside here, you are able to close that door off there and nobody's any the wiser that there's anything down this end of the van. What I'll do is I'll take you through the rest of the, um, the unit itself and give you some uh, key features as we go through. Um, so we've got the built-in sink down the end here with your hot and your cold water for washing up. Um, we've got a 130 litre fridge freezer um, tucked up on the inside here. Um, that there's got a 12 volt uh, compressor built in. And, um, and beside that there, this particular customer's opted for two 30 litre draw fridges. So the draw fridges go through here. They've got remote mounted compressors and, um, and they're very, very energy efficient. Moving a little bit further on on your bench top surface here, we've got the brand new Kimberley Campers dual induction cooktops. Um, they're an 1800 watt cooktop there uh, and they're, they're a smart cooktop. So what you're able to do is it's a maximum of 1800 so uh, watts usage. So um, as you go through the actual units themselves, if you were to sort of like raise the temperature on one side, it does compensate for the power so that you don't trip anything internally. The, um, uh, the, the benefits of the induction cooktop is um, you can heat up a, a one litre um, pot of water in about a minute and a half, as opposed to about nine or 10 minutes over the diesel powered hot water systems, uh, diesel powered uh, cookers that we've had in the past. Um, uh, going through your console here, we've got the, um, the Cymarine uh, monitor system, which, um, which keeps an eye on all of our bits and pieces. We've got your power, your consumption. Um, we've got the different items that have been split up. Um, because our battery or because our solar array is so large, we've got two solar regulators and arrays on board. Um, uh, we've got the freezer there your two water tanks, capacities and what they're using. And then we've got your um, shock absorbers, temperatures. So across the four shock absorbers, that's the temperatures there. And then we've got a fridge down the end as well. Um, this particular unit on our T3 has an inclinometer. So you are able to electronically get it level. Um, that they links up to your phone through Wi-Fi. Um, so you are able to read everything I've just shown on, on a phone app. All your switches throughout here, um, just your two pumps on board, bench lights, fridge fans, and um, then we've got the diesel hot water Wabasto and the diesel air heater. So the diesel air heater on these is separate, which is uh, the vents down in the kick panel on the floor here, with definitely enough to heat up the whole van in winter. Um, 240 volt sockets and then the remote control for the inverter. The inverter is an auto cutover, so when you're plugged into 240, you're running off your 240 uh, shore power. When you unplug, that automatically cuts over to your um, 12 volt power. So um, a smart unit, which works really well. Down the bottom here, we've got a um, microwave oven. Uh, so it's so like the oven does have a grill in the bottom of it here. So you're able to use that. Obviously, so like the, the microwave side works off your inverter at 2600 watts, but your, um, your grill is definitely so like only if you're on shore power. Large aluminium drawers down the bottom there, and then we go through so like your storage here. So once again, storage all the way through. And then we've got um, two drawers up the top here because you've got a whole lot of storage up under here. Cutting board on the top here, you can opt for so like either a stone cutting board or a wood cutting board as this customer's opted for. And then we've got storage all the way through the top on your driver's side as well. So all of these drawers and cabinets do open and, um, and all of them so like you're able to fill all the way to the back. Um, multimedia on the, uh, on the T3 um, is in the form of a 28 inch smart TV. Your 28 inch smart TV, there's a couple of things you can do there is one you can stream directly from your phone or your iPad. Um, so if you've got anything that you want to um, uh, Bluetooth together and then um, broadcast through the TV, no problem at all. Um, it's also linked to the onboard Wi-Fi system. So if you've got a plan there, you can run your uh, Netflix, you can run Stan, you can run um, Foxtel if you wanted. 
um, without the need to sort of like uh, kickstart any of your other TV reception. Um, but on the back of that there, we do have your uh, controller for your terrestrial TV, or we've got your satellite, so you'll get your terrestrial TV and some anywhere in Australia. So pretty much taking all of that multimedia to the next level. And then as a final little uh, nice touch is with the smart TVs, you're able to link into your multimedia system. So on this particular system, we've got a, um, a fusion panel stereo um, that, that gives out exceptional sound uh, through the unit itself. And for the enclosed space here, we, we find that it's more than enough to give the user a really great experience on, in watching movies and, and whatever else they're after. Um, as we go down here, we've got two Sirocco fans either side of the bed, which obviously just move internal air temperature. Um, and, uh, you know, his and hers, it's got um, speed and um, it's also got uh, timers on them. On the S and the T class, we've um, got the areas down the side here, which has the um, bedside cupboards. So bedside cupboards, you're able to store bits and pieces on ladders. Um, we've also got your um, sphere um, industrial modem inside there, which is your RV modems uh, to give you reception while you're out in the bush. Um, that we can run cell fi um, boosters, repeater stations, um, pretty much taking technology to the ultimate that we can get in our, in our vans. Um, all of them have LED lights, both sides of the van. Um, we've got storage up and in the linen cupboard over the front, and then we've actually got a fair bit of storage inside the red cupboard that drops down as well. Um, uh, as a nice, neat little feature, we've got so like the magazine racks either side of the bed, and then your drink holders as well. So it's so like for the overnight, uh, you know, for, for bed night stops and uh, whatever you like, instead of knocking off um, drinks off beside the bed, we've got the little holders. Um, you do have bedside tables either side of the bed with two 40 volt sockets either side of the bed or 12 volt USBs. Um, so with that there, if you've got any CPAP machines, if you need to charge uh, any phones, watches or anything, as our power consumption is going up, then you're able to get into um, that there. So we, we've got, in total, we've got about 10 double USB ports on board um, and just giving you more and more power. Um, queen size bed, um, we have a super plush inner spring mattress or a dual layer high density uh, foam mattress with memory foam on the top of it. And that there we just give down to customer choice. When you get to this level here, we want you to have the most uh, comfortable night's sleep you possibly can and, um, and the choice of mattress is yours. Um, underneath the bed we get a bit more access. Um, under there we've got an LED light which um, we'll turn on from there um, but these here you don't have to lift open uh, we've got so like two storage bins either side which i see a lot of people putting shoes in or bits and pieces and then you've got your two drawers on runners there so both of those are under there giving you a, a truckload more space um, but once again nice easily flexible um, as we move up i'll just show you some storage in the bottom of the chase lounge um, so from the end of the, the cushion here, you're able to sort of like uh, fully position yourself on there, um, sling an arm over the side there and put your feet up here. Nice and comfortable. We can fit four adults around here, no problem at all with your teardrop table. And, um, and as I say, we've got a couple of options for bedding around here as well. Um, once again, so like um, taking advantage of as much storage as we can, we've got um, access into your under bed, uh, uh, sorry, under chase lounge uh, seating area there with a couple of bins to put bits and pieces. So I think that's it um, from our T3. Uh, you know, it's like there's, there's a lot of stuff that we've taken you through today. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff that are, that's obviously inside the units themselves that um, we, we can't cover in a short walkthrough. Um, uh, we have a nationwide dealer network or, or the guys over in the US. Um, we'd really love the opportunity to have a chat to you um, and give you any more information. Um, from KKHQ, um, you know, it's like we're, we're out there, we're, we're innovating, we're developing these units to be the best that they can in the market. Um, and uh, if you want more information, please go to www.kimberleycampers.com.au um, and that'll give you access to sort of like all of our contacts and bits and pieces. If you're on social media, don't forget to give us a like and then if you wanted to keep in touch with us and, um, and see what we're bringing out the whole time, hit that subscribe button and, um, and you'll get all of our updates. So from KKHQ, thank you very much for your time. Happy camping and we'll see you soon.